Ilo State Police Command on Tuesday released three members of the Odua People's Congress OPC detained for arresting a suspected Fulani warlord Iskilu Wakili. The three, OP, the three OPC men were arrested on Sunday after they stormed the base of the alleged warlord, arrested him and handed him over to the police. The OPC members were released from the police custody at Iyagonku Command around 5.40 p.m. on Tuesday. Sarah reporters gathered that their release followed the intervention of the Oyo State Government and the Ario Noka Kamfu of Yoruba Land, Ibagani Iba Adams. The three detained OPC members were released in the presence of State Coordinator of Odua People's Congress in Oyo State, Comrade Rotimi Oguntunde, a.k.a. Ulumo, Special Advisor to Oyo State Governor on Culture and Tourism, Honorable Adimola Akim Ige, and Counsel for the OPC. The police had detained the OPC members, alleging that they burnt his house and killed a woman in it. So what now happened? They released them. Is it on bail or they are going to charge them to court? Or they just wanted to use that to detain them? Because we are hearing some conflicting statements that they were transferred to Abuja. Well, whichever one, this is what we are still getting again. Of course, uh, the meaning of the their, their arrest, of course, is something... A lot of people are worried about that you arrested a criminal. They said, don't keep, take laws into your hands. Of course, they know what would happen at the end of the day. Since they don't want people who are, that are law-abiding, but the ones that take AK-47 and begin to kill everybody, those are the ones that are following the constitution. Welcome to Nigeria, where criminals are compensated and victims arrested. I'm a proud Biafran. We don't judge terrorists. Rather, we send them to God for judgment. Ahaha, uh, ECN, come and hear story. Gani Adams, please, metamorphize uh, OPC into a formidable force. They have reduced Amotekun to an ordinary boy scout, and now OPC is at the verge of being ridiculed. If you overlook this humiliation, that is the end. Kindly contact MNK, uh, Namdi Kano, for you to, to rob mines. I trust Eastern Security Network. <laughs> if they catch terrorists now, to hand them over to God for judgment strength. Tomorrow now, they will release the terrorists telling me and you that he's innocent. Chai, zoo police can fear after the OPC boss asks for their release or face crisis. I hope they, they, the police, don't give you any injection or food before they release you. I don't trust any government agency with a single favor. All the police Ogun, will kill them with the Wakili himself. We can all see what is happening. Can someone from the Yoruba region try this nonsense in the north? Government don't want to arrest the terrorists. They are working together. Abacha once said any terrorism lasted more than 24 hours, meaning the government of that country knew about it. Don't give to police again when you arrest them and send them back to God. You people have to learn Eastern Security Network. Criminals everywhere. How can you arrest somebody with evidence or victims or any kind of proof without evidence? How can you people sit down in your rooms and pass judgment of kidnap on a blind old man you never knew? How do you support the burning of people alive and killing of cow? When did ethnic warlords, motor park thugs and illiterate like Ghani Adams and Sonic Bohu become the leaders of Yorubas. That's what someone is saying here. Well, it shock you. Just wait. It, uh, uh, it will explode soon. Too much talk na lie. No worry. Next time, now to send the fake blind terrorists to Allah for divine judgment. She be the hand over to police. Now he give you mouth. The talk wait till you know, know anything about. This is Nigeria where a bandits are peaceful and compensated. Why the victims are killed Trial and prosecuted, tried and prosecuted. Who is a Nigerian? Because we oh, both say what Nigeria is the only country where pigeons cannot fly, but cows can. Can Biafrans don't have time for transferring them to a uh, station, but transiting them to hell, where appropriate judgment will be given to them, unbiased by God. The ones who fight evil now become suspect, lawlessness looming. This gesture will not change anything for, for sure. The OPC have learned their lesson. Very sad development. See the not defending 
and owning their criminals, but to think that Jonathan sacked Festus Udumegu, former National Population Commission chairman, because Kokwansu and the Northern Kaba told him to do so because he said that Nigeria population figure has always been doctored by the North to give them greater population. Jonathan shivered and sacked him. But here is a government protecting and defending criminals. Tomorrow, Isadana will be president and we will defer to the North. A country where criminals are celebrated while the victims are arrested, tortured and humiliated, very much unfortunate. I told you jungle justice is the best thing to do. If police and others have failed us, imagine the scenario. It is definitely not their wish that they are released. It is the voices of the masses and the fact that people have realized the sort of wrong they have put themselves. Fulani Republic of Nigeria, touch a Fulani man and suffer, but Fulani man can kill you and government will reward him with cash. You see why unknown government need, need not to show no pity on any police officer in their web. The name is called Zoo. Nigeria. Very good. The um they ask did did the right thing because they may not be able to withstand the consequences of the stupid action they took initially. Arresting a security for arresting a criminal. <laughs> that is the power of social media. Uh they also looks like the criminals themselves. Okay, this is not these are the criminals that are supposed to have been arrested, not innocent OPC. Yes, so they have turned this country to something else. They have turned it upside down. Everything is in disarray. Forgiving a terrorist is left to God, but fixing their appointment with God is Eastern Security Network responsibility. I hope they have learned their lesson the hard way that under the current administration, you don't hand over a known terrorist or mastermind of kidnapping and other vices to the police. Instead, you treat them as enemies of the collective well-being of your people and region and terminate their existence without unnecessary media publicity. This is what you see when you have this picture as presidents. Okay, okay. <laughs> OPC, why not send them to the appropriate quarter? If they fail to release them today, just know whether legal or illegal, police station will be closed in southwest till further notice. <laughs> oh my goodness. So guys, let's hear your opinion on this. Thank you.